the Pulse Pounding series, Secret and, Secrets and Lies. And judging from this sneak preview, there are some bombshells ahead this weekend. Take a look. He just gave you 150 grand. Over a number of years. Over a number of years. This just gets better and better. He was trying to help. By getting you to lie to me? It's a hell of a guy. He was worried about us, Ben. About our future. Right, because you married me. It's just a cushion. 150000 is not a cushion. It's an escape plan. So you could take the girls and leave me. That wasn't the plan before. It's a great idea. Oh, well, my God. So well, when it started, we thought your co-star, your husband, Ryan Philippi. Did I say that right? Philippi. 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 I knew I was going to screw it up. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so we all thought he, even like the previews, even before the show started, we thought it was him. But mm -hmm. there's been a little twist, and now we think it might be you. Great writing. Um, someone is in her role as a woman scorned and a mama bear. I think that's what you can chalk that up to. And it's also part of the wonder of the show. There's so many twists and turns. And I feel like at some point everyone feels like a suspect, which is what keeps me on my toes as right. an audience. And I think yeah. what keeps the audience coming back. Yeah. Well, there's only two more episodes left till the finale. Mm -hmm. I know. I mean, it can't take much longer than that, <laughs> to be honest. I guess everyone's question is do you know who the killer is? I don't. And I can't wait to Ooh. watch it. I don't know. We did multiple endings. So the truth is, I have not investigated enough. I know some people know the answer, but I certainly don't, and I can't wait to watch it. Oh, my God. I, I know last time you were on The View, you actually co-hosted Like I'm Doing. I and did. You were pregnant. You didn't know you were pregnant. I didn't know. No clue. I like, no clue. No, Whoopi will tell you. I had no clue. <laughs> so when I got back to Los Angeles and a little while later found out, I was blown away. <laughs> and I, I, I hear that your son Atticus is uh, very advanced for his age. Does that well, smart kid? He is a very busy guy who changes quite a lot. And yes, at a year and a half, he's got a vocabulary that blows my mind. <laughs> Did they just show the picture? Oh, oh there he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is he DJing a party? He's DJ Eradicus. <laughs> yeah, he's an incredible dude. kid. I, I can't believe you didn't know. It's just so funny. So we talked about it. We talked about children and yes. when I was going to do it. And I'm like, oh, you yeah. know, when the timing's right. Yeah, and who knew? And so the timing was right. It yeah. was. And did you I'm, feel like, did you have any extra weird cravings? Were you sitting here screaming at them to get you ice cream? Or I didn't. You? you know, it was weird. I love eggs and chicken. I've always enjoyed eating them. But for some reason, I couldn't get enough of them. That's why you look them, like so. that. Like, I love whoopie pies. I mean, well, I do. <laughs> that came with breastfeeding. Yeah. That's when I got the whoopie pies. Yeah. I, I can't get enough eggs and chicken. No, never. Not I, I did, Yeah, I, I should have yeah. known when that's what okay. I wanted to eat. No, I, I loved you as Charlotte on Private Practice. I was a big fan. Oh! <laughs> I love that show. Fine. I heard that Whoopi used to visit, pop up uh, and do some surprise visits on the set. Is that true? Well, is that true? Yeah. Miss Mandy Chamberlain, who is like the greatest yeah. wardrobe lady the in the greatest. world. She is the best. Yes. And, and Whoopi would come by and see us, which was always fun. I kept wanting to drag her on set with me, but you can't catch Whoopi. No, it's no, hard to pin me down. And also, you know, the, Mandy was my dresser for... 25 years. Uh -huh. So when I wasn't doing it anymore, you know, I would go see her. I'd be in LA and she'd say, Come to the set. And I'd be like, Okay. Okay. And then I'd get there. It was like, Oh, I'm home. I know everybody. It was fantastic. We felt that way too. Oh, that's great. The best. <laughs> All right. Now, since you've been here before, we're going to subject you to one of our games. Is that okay? Are you I would it? love okay. it. Okay. So Whoopi's going to tell, right? <laughs> Whoopi is going to tell us a fact. And then we, with our big brains, are going to guess if it's a secret or a lie. Ooh, Sorry, wow, back. That's so okay, cool. okay, let's okay. So let's see if we can do it. All right. All right. Ready? ready? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not ready. Why do you All have right. three? Well, because one says one lie. Do I confirm it? You know what? I can just, I can just twist it. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, it's okay. for her. Okay. One is for her, okay. so she I can get tell one, you a lie. I can tell us the answer. And then you, yes. <laughs> this is a lot What's of math going on. A lot of math. We know what we're doing. So here we go. Let's Even see. though Katie has a southern accent, she was actually born in Dublin, Ireland. Lie! Lie! Boom! Yes! Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on, you, you have 
Patrick. <laughs> you, I'm running. I have a backup. Katie's pets have included a rabbit. No, a rabbit. <laughs> a where's good rabbit? Deer. <laughs> Are the answers I don't know. No, no, the answer's not here. Can a deer, a rabbit, fun. and an alligator. Yeah! Oh. All right. You can catch wild animals on a farm. Yeah, and that they, they're just there. there. That my pet. Georgia, alligator. I got you now. I'm a baby <laughs> alligator. I love this. All right. Kanye, uh, Katie once shared a taxi cab <laughs> with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. I mean, would they ever be in a cab? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to ask this as we say goodbye, Go. but one of Katie's first jobs was playing Urkel's boy girlfriend in Family Matters. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're such a liar. You are such a liar. And lies. Uh, our Sunday night at 9 p.m. on ABC. We, of course, will be right back. Founding series Secret and, Secrets and Lies. And judging from this sneak preview, there are some bombshells ahead this weekend. Take a look. He just gave you 150 grand. Over a number of years. Over a number of years. This just gets better and better. He was trying to help. By getting you to lie to me? It's a hell of a guy. He was worried about his Ben, about our future. Right, because you married me. It's just a cushion. 150000 is not a cushion. It's an escape plan. So you could take the girls and leave me. That wasn't the plan before. It's a great idea. God. So when it started, we thought your co-star, your husband, Ryan Philippi, did I say that right? Philippi. I knew I was going to screw it up. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so we all thought he, even like the previews, even before the show started, we thought it was him, but there's been a little twist, and now we think it might be you. Great writing. Um, someone is in her role as a woman scorned and a mama bear. I think that's what you can chalk that up to. And it's also part of the wonder of the show. There's so many twists and turns. And I feel like at some point everyone feels like a suspect, which is what keeps me on my toes as right. an audience. And I think yeah. what keeps the audience coming back. Yeah. Well, there's only two more episodes left till the finale. Mm -hmm. I know. I mean... It can take much longer than that, to be honest. I guess everyone's question is, do you know who the killer is? I don't. And I can't wait to Ooh. watch it. I don't know. We did multiple endings. So the truth is, I have not investigated enough. I know some people know the answer, but I certainly don't, and I can't wait to watch it. Oh, my God. I, I know last time you were on The View, you actually co-hosted Like I'm Doing, I and did. you were pregnant. You didn't know you were pregnant. I didn't know. No clue. I was like, no clue. No, Whoopi will tell you. I had no clue. <laughs> so when I got back to Los Angeles and a little while later found out, I was blown away. <laughs> and I, I, I hear that your son Atticus is...